Welcome back. It seems like every day is a national celebration of something, and fortunately, those sometimes are often delicious. While it might not be a part of your typical breakfast, Eyewitness News reporter Christina Shalhoop is live in Tamaqua, where she's getting an early start to National Filet Mignon Day. Christina? All right, are you ready for a delicious secret? I have genuinely never cooked a steak before. I know it's crazy, but that's why we're here in Tamaqua today. It's National Filet Mignon Day, so of course I have Chef Hiram Quintana with me. First of all, let's talk about your history as a chef because you, my friend, are fascinating. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, since a child, you know, that's basically it. That's what I would say. I grew up in the kitchen in, uh, in the early years, 14, 15 years old, and kind of here I am here, 30 something odd years later, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just doing the same thing passionately so awesome and like I mean look at your jacket you have been all over the world competing in the world of food well, the, right? country, the world of food yes the country for right now the world eventually but yes I've, I'm a competitive chef I've traveled around Orange Beach Alabama um, Florida pretty much around the whole south southern coast whether it's gathering ingredients or competing that's kind of what I do it's kind of travel chef I love it. I love it. Now, right here, we are in the Tamaqua Trading Post. This is a new venture for you. Why don't you talk about it a little bit? Because it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's 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 basically a community-based a community -based bartering post. So I was thinking about, like, you know, the forefathers created the country with the barter system and stuff like that. I was like, why, why did we get off that bet? So I just jumped right in and, you know, created the trading post because the actual trading post used to be right here behind the original building in the early 1800s. The hotel has that much history. So oh, wow. it used to be like on this end with the horse and carriages and stuff. <laughs> so I kind of took a spin off that and um, started to create concepts and stuff like that in here. So. Wow. And now here we are. We're going to learn. And by we, I mean, I'm going to learn how to cook the perfect steak. That's and who right. better to teach me? That's it. I That's mean, it. this is going to be great. I'm yep. so excited. Before we get going, mm -hmm. any first, you know, beginning beginner tips for me? Uh, yeah, don't burn it. <laughs> so we're, we're going to try our best not to burn it. We're going to completely <laughs> execute. Uh, I'm going to show you how to probe and <laughs> you just like, don't burn it. Right? I, th <laughs> I think I, think I can manage that. Right you can do that, right? I mean, I hope so. It's trial and error sure here. you'll be fine because uh, it's probably sim one of the simplest things is to cook a steak. So you're going to put a little bit of heat on both sides, and I'm going to show you how to moderately put it, all right, and not overly do it. So. Perfect. All right, okay. don't burn it. I like that don't a lot. It, that's it. We're going to put it to the test in a few more minutes, but uh -huh. for now, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Just keep that in mind when you're cooking your steak. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. He says it's pretty easy to do, but I still feel like there's a lot of ways you can mess up a steak pretty badly. Oh, I know many of them yeah. myself. Yeah. I guess just singeing it. Like like you said, don't, don't <laughs> make it like a hockey puck. Yeah, don't burn it, but you also don't want to undercook it too much either. So, how do you like your steak? Uh, medium rare if it's good quality. I'm the same. Right? Yep, I'm okay, with fair enough. The